Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars and I have a bit of information for our empowerment that I found out just uh, last night. It's, it was highly transformational for me and I hope it will be of help for you as well in um, achieving a sense of empowerment in life and transforming negative uh, experiences into positive. This has to do with relationships with other with other people and uh, I, I know that sometimes we feel at the effect of, of things that happen in relationships and uh, for instance we may deeply love somebody <clears throat> and that person may decide to leave us and then we may feel at the effect of their decision for instance, we feel, oh my gosh, he left me, right? And so that feeling, that notion that someone else had the power to make us unhappy is, is, is disempowering, is very disempowering. And, and it's something that can fly under the radar too. Uh, there's another a situation that's also true of young people, I think. Young people may think their parents may convince them to do something with regard to their career uh, or their education that's really not what they want to do, but because, of, because their parents are so strong and powerful in their eyes, and they may, for instance, have hold the key to finances and, and so forth, when, they are, when children are young, then children may feel that they must go along with what their parents say. And this also is disempowering. I'll give you an example. Um, a child may feel that he or she has to attend a particular school that they don't want to attend. And, and they may be, feel forced by their parents to do that. And then in later life they may say, oh my gosh, I had to leave all my um, friends and go to this school and I didn't like it there and my parents forced me to do it, right? So they made me unhappy, basically. Or, and this sometimes happens with young people when they join the military. Their parents may, for instance, not, uh, either their parents may have been very successful in the military and want their children to follow in their footsteps, or their parents may not have had the opportunity to join the military um, say they had some kind of draft exemption or like that and their parents want their children to fulfill that dream that they had that they were unable to fulfill. So, so the child may feel impelled to join the military even though it's not his desire to do so and he may have uh, as a result we may find him his temperament or is or her temperament is not compatible with military lifestyle, which is at one end of the continuum of independence and interrelationship with other people and dependence on other people's um, willpower. So, so the child may have uh, not be compatible with military like way of thinking and he may suffer greatly in that situation or she may and he or she may blame the parents for forcing them into that situation. I was forced to be unhappy by a decision that someone else made, right? This is also true sometimes of, of young people and marriage. Sometimes their parents, it seems to them that their parents force them to marry someone that they don't want to marry because of social standing or one-upmanship or that kind of thing. Sometimes it's the opposite. Their parents um, uh, force them not to marry someone that they love, maybe for the same reasons. So And so then the child feels, my life has been destroyed, right? <laughs> or ruined, or my happiness is forever flown away because of a decision that someone else made. They've ruined my happiness. So you get the idea. This is also true of later life, you know. A person may say, well, for this or that reason, as a senior citizen, it's unable, I'm unable to find anyone to love. <coughs> right? This or that circumstance in my life forces me 
not to uh, to follow my dreams or my heart. Okay, all these things can be solved in this way. And this is what I found out last night. It goes like this. Uh, in a relationship, you say, uh, this person and I decided together to do that thing. You say it like with your whole heart, your whole being. You say, and you and you change the past. You change the whole tenor of the situation and all that followed. You say, this person and I, we decided to do that thing. And what happens then is that, um, at least what happened to me is that I suddenly felt greatly empowered in the situation. Like I had I had made that choice, I had made that decision, and that the consequences were my own, and that the future was my own, and that I could then be free to create whatever I want as of right now. So.